Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel Fire Alert. In today's video, we will learn about jet fire, pool fire and flash fire. So, what is a pool fire? Pool fire occurs when a flammable liquid leaks from a vessel or a pipeline to form a fluid reservoir which then ignites. For example, fuel leaked from a vessel and culture on ground and later receiving an ignition source, it caught fire. Then you can call that a pool fire. Then, then we have jet fire. Jet fire can be caused by vapor leaking from high pressure sources such as pumps, uh, vent risers or piping. For jet fire to occur, these vapors must meet an ignition source. A jet fire can exhibit the same temperature as a pool fire, but the heat fluxes released here would be double that of the pool fire. Hence, jet fire is more dangerous than pool fire. Also, it is more easier to extinguish a pool fire than a jet fire. The duration of jet fire will be determined by the release rate and the capacity of the source. Then we have flash fire. A flash fire occurs when a cloud of flammable gas and air is ignited. The speed of burning will depend on the concentration of flammable component and also the wind speed prevailing there. Within a few seconds of ignition, the flame spreads both upwind and downwind of the ignition source. Initially, the flame will be contained in the cloud due to the premix burning of the region within the flammable limits, but subsequently, the flame extends in the form of fire plume above the cloud. The duration of the uh, flash fire will be very short. It ranges from a uh, minimum of 3 to 4 seconds. Now, just to conclude, let me give you an example of all these three types of fires that we have discussed till now. For that, let's consider a pressurized storage vessel as shown here with the puncture on its surface wall. This can cause a pressurized leakage of fuel and during this leakage, if it gets an ignition source, then that can result in a jet fire. Again, consider that it did not get an ignition source and the fuel starts to collect on the ground and creates a pool. After that, if it gets an ignition source, then this can result in a pool fire. When the fuel being leaked gets evaporated and dispersed into the air in an unconfined space and forms a vapor cloud within its flammability limit, upon receiving an ignition source, this can cause a flash fire. So I believe I cleared my point with all these examples. And that's all for the video guys. Thank you for watching this and please like, share and subscribe the channel and follow us on Firelord19 on Instagram.